We're going to be using Firebase as the backend and database to our project. Now Firebase is a great choice for us since we're making a chat app where we want users to be able to see new messages in real time. And Firebase is what's known as a real time database. It makes use of a technology called WebSockets in order to make data transfer very fast. So we'll create an account with Firebase at firebase.google.com and we'll click on once you've signed up go to console. We'll be taken to console.firebase.google.com. We want to add a project by clicking on add project. Include our project name. I'll give mine the name of react slack clone. Then we'll be asked to agree to their terms. So we'll click the checkbox then click on create project. Firebase will now create our project. Once our project is ready we'll click on the continue button and we'll be taken to a kind of admin panel for our project. We'll begin by underneath the line get started by adding Firebase to your app. We'll click on this code icon and it'll give us some instructions and data that we'll use to integrate Firebase with our web app. Underneath the initialize Firebase comment we want to grab both the config object as well as the function call firebase.initialize app which takes that config object. We'll copy all of that, head back to our app. We're going to add a new file within our source folder for all of this that we copied. We're going to call this firebase.js. We'll paste that right in. And since we're making use of Firebase here when we're calling initialize app with all of the configuration data, we're going to import Firebase from Firebase slash app. And we're going to import a few other packages as well, say sub sub dependencies I should say. We'll import Firebase slash auth for authorization within our app. Firebase slash database to make use of the real time database. Firebase slash storage which will allow us to store things like media files. At the very bottom, we'll export Firebase with export default to make that available to other parts of our app. And if you'll notice the storage bucket property, this has an empty string. We want to set up our Firebase storage. So we'll go over to the storage tab on the left hand side and in that page we'll click on get started it will show us some default security rules for our storage to say got it and from here we want to grab the URL up at the top after the GS forward slash forward slash that URL that ends with appspot.com paste that directly into our storage bucket property to set up Firebase storage. Now we can save that file and start making use of Firebase within our React app.